Hello everyone, I'm Human Hard Drive, and today on Electronics 101 we're going to be going over the concept that is electrostatics. So what we have here is a basic flywheel electrostatic generator okay, that works by spinning two wheels in opposite directions to, char to create a different uh, voltage difference to allow current to arc. So, uh, as I spin the wheel, there are tiny brushes, shocking myself, there are tiny brushes here on either side that scrape along the flywheel, picking up electrons from the foil. As I do this, electrons are being pulled from one side and put on the other, so it's creating a voltage difference. There's fewer electrons here than there are over here. As I do this, these two columns here act as capacitors, storing electrical energy as I spin it. So if I bring these two balls into contact with one another, you should see, wait, a spark. I'll do this again, and get a bigger spark this time. Really go for it. Give it the beans. Hey, okay. bigger spark. So it's this idea of a voltage differential between negative here and less negative over here. So what we have here is a Van de Graaff generator okay, that works by distributing electrons over this uniform metallic surface. Now, the surface isn't pointed, it's rounded, so that electrons don't develop a point charge at any specific point. It's evenly distributed so that it just can't load and then discharge into the air. It's charged because this is a nylon rope, which is set up on a motor. So this spins, and right here, there's a brass sponge, which picks, which picks up electrons and distributes them over the dome. Now, this is a fairly large Van de Graaff generator. Uh, this thing produces in excess of 10,000 volts. So if you have one of these and you're going to be using it, uh, I do suggest some safety tips. Number one, if you have any electronic devices on your person, remove them. So my watch. You're going to want to set them at least five feet away. My iPod, phone, out of the way. It's always a good idea because it's going to be distributing charge about your body. So I'm wearing what I assume to be rubber soled shoes. So there is an insulation between me and the ground. So I am in effect acting as a capacitor. Okay, so if I turn this on, okay, you can hear it crackling. The belt is scraping along the brass mesh, which is distributing electrons across the dome. And if I bring, if I, there, I got a ring on. Yep. Now, I, the longer I do this, the more charged I become because it's not making it a decent jump to ground. If you look down here, if you look down here, there's a ground plug on it. So if this is the most negative, this is the least negative. So if I bring in my finger, it can make a really decent jump to ground. If you look at my arm, you can see it ah, twitch as I do this. Okay, now I'm still touching the ground, so there is a small portion of it that is di uh, discharging the ground. But if I were to insulate myself by, say, standing on something that is much more insulative than my shoes, say a couple wooden pallets, I think we need another two on. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There we go. So if I step on this, there we go. There we go. You can probably hear it crackling as it's trying to jump. So, if I do this again, Someone want to come in here? Aaron, come on in here. Yay! Aaron, if you remember, is Mr. Australian. Hi. So, Aaron, hand of God thing. 
giving information that... Ah! <laughs> so Aaron is grabbing ground and we're completing the circuit. So as we do this, there are a lot of electrons on me, none, no electrons on him. So the pain, <laughs> the pain comes from that instantaneous jump from probably 25,000 volts to ground over a very short time. So that's a capacitor charging and then immediately discharging. So it, wait, so now, no, Aaron, come on. So now if Aaron were to also grab the dome, okay, and he were to touch ground, it's not as great. In fact, you probably can't even see it here. It's because there's more, I'm distributing load of the electrons to me. So it's, I'm splitting the voltage. If I were to then get off, and discharge. Okay. Now, if I were to grab on to Aaron, we're now sharing the electric current. Now, if I were to then touch ground, he feels a shock. It's because it's jumping immediately from high voltage to ground. So that's really it. You can go in now. <laughs> when it comes to electrostatics, I'm probably going to post another video of us just acting like complete idiots with this thing. So this has been Human Hard Drive, thanks for watching.